Hi everyone, welcome back to the Coder Shop channel. For companies looking to streamline their employee leave management, having the right system in place is essential. Fortunately, Odoo offers a comprehensive solution. The Time of module allows you to create and customize time of types, set up approval workflows, and manage allocations efficiently, ensuring a smooth process for both employees and managers. In this video, we'll show you how to configure and create time of types in Odo 17. So let's get started. Let's start by navigating to the time of module, then go to configuration and select time of types. Here you'll find a list of existing types like paid, unpaid time off, compensatory days, and others that can be modified to suit your business needs. To create a new type, just click the new button. On this form, you'll have several sections with many options to configure. But what I'd like to show you is an existing type to make this tutorial easier and faster. So let's get started. When creating a new time of type, the first step is to enter a clear and descriptive name for it. Next, specify the approval process. Choose whether requests will be approved automatically without validation, require approval from a designated officer, or the employee's manager, or need both approvals for completion. Next, configure the allocation request section. Select whether employees need a valid allocation to submit a time off request, or if they can proceed without a prior allocation. If you want to allow employees to request additional days beyond their allocation, enable extra days request. And finally, set the approval process. Choose whether requests are automatically approved without validation or require manual approval from the designated time off officer. Now let's scroll down to the configuration section. For a notified time off officer, you can designate who will be notified and responsible for approving requests and allocations for this specific time off type. We'll also select the format for requesting time off. If it can only be requested in full day increments, half day, or only for hourly increments. Check the deduct extra hours box. If you want the system to take into account any extra time the employee has accrued when calculating time of requests. For example, if an employee has worked two extra hours and requests five hours of time off, the request is reduced to three hours because the extra hours are deducted. Next, decide whether employees can attach supporting documents. This is useful in cases such as long-term medical leave, where documentation is required. Under kind of time off, choose whether or not the time off counts as time worked. This choice affects the accruals the employee is working towards. Here you can enable the negative cap option to allow employees to request more time off than they currently have, resulting in a negative balance. When enabled, an amount in negative field appears. In this field, enter the maximum amount of negative time allowed in days. Next, we have the timesheet section. When employees take time off and also use the timesheet app, Odo can automatically create corresponding entries in the timesheet application for accurate tracking. If the time off type should create work entries in the payroll app, you can select the work entry type from the drop down list. Finally, we have display section. This allows you to customize how the time of type appears on the dashboard. We can select a color and choose an icon that best represents this time of type. After completing all fields, don't forget to click save. And that's it. Now you know how to create and customize time of types in Odo 17. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.